So it's given that the average speed for a flight from Dubai to London is 750 kilometers per hour. Um, the average time from Dubai to London is seven hours, 18 minutes. And we are expected to um, work out the flight, the flight distance from Dubai to London. So we all know that the speed is equal to um, distance over time, which implies that if you want to find distance, this implies that if you want to find distance, you'll have to multiply speed um, times time. So basically, um, we need to find these quantities. We need to find the speed, which but it's given. I uh, also need to find time, but it's given. However, the time that we are given is in hours and minutes. And therefore, we have to convert it so it's just in one unit. So the time that's given is um, seven hours and 18 minutes. So what we can do is, because the speed here is in 70, 750 kilometers per hour, we can convert this time so that it's just in hours. That way you can be able to calculate the required distance. So seven hours will just be seven hours. And then 18, 18 minutes, we have to divide it by 60 so that we have hours. Of course, that will be less than an hour. So this will be equal to 7 plus um, 18 divided by 60 will be 0 0.3. So basically, you have 7.3 hours. So that's the time that it will take to travel from uh, Dubai to London. So um, the required distance will be equal to the speed, which is given. Uh, multiplied by the time, which we've just calculated, um, 7.3, not 7.5. And if you multiply those, you'll end up with 5,475 kilometers. Okay. In the second part of this question, we are required to change 750 kilometers per hour to speed in meters per second. So 750 kilometers per hour implies that you're traveling 750 kilometers in one hour. So what we want is meters per second. So let's convert the numerator to meters. So we know that there are 1,000 meters in kilometers, so that will be 750 multiplied by 1,000, and this will be meters over. Well, one hour is 3,600 seconds, so that will be 3,000 seconds. And then if you just plug this in your calculator, you'll end up with 208. 0.3 meters per second. However, they want their answers to be nearest whole number, so that will be approximately 208 meters per second.